The testes lie in a sac called the scrotum. The scrotum functions to keep the testes cool. This is needed to ensure that the sperm production is The testes lie in a sac called the scrotum. The function of the scrotum is to keep the testes cool. The function of the testes is sperm production. Once the sperm are formed, they will then enter into the epididymis. From the epididymis, the sperm will then travel to the vas deferens. At the end of the vas deferens, lies a seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle will make components that are going to contribute to the seminal fluid. After this, the sperm along with the seminal fluid, which is semen, is then going to travel through the urethra shown here. This is the prostate gland. The prostate gland also functions to make components of the seminal fluid. The prostate gland also contains muscles that assist to propel the fluid forward during the ejaculation. This is the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct is part of the prostate gland. Its function is also to assist in making prostate fluid, which is one of the components of seminal fluid. This is the bulbarethral gland. The function of the bulbarethral gland is to make components of the seminal fluid as well. Lastly, this entire structure is collectively called the penis. The function of the penis in reproduction is to deliver semen to the vagina during sexual intercourse. Let's now look at the path of the sperm through the male anatomy. The sperm is produced in the testes. It will then travel into the epididymis. From the epididymis, it's going to travel through the vas deferens. It's then going to pass the glands, which are going to create seminal fluid.